Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Carl Zeiss 35mm f1.4 lens for the Sony E-mount system. Finally, Sony have released an f1.4 aperture lens and that's in the form of a 35mm focal length. And what can I say, this lens is massive. And regarding its size, it does go back to DSLR territory, but bear in mind it is a full frame lens with a few special features built in. Today I have it paired with my a7 II, so stay tuned as I give you a tour of the lens as well as what I personally think of it. The lens has an all metal body with a large metal focus ring, which already scores some points with me because I hate rubber focus rings. There is a built-in aperture ring and a click switch that I'll get into a bit more detail later. But you've also got the Zeiss badge on the side and the lens also accepts 72mm filters. And it also comes supplied with a plastic pedal type lens hood. Okay so we already know this is a big lens but just for size comparison here is a photo of the Carl Zeiss 35mm f2.8 right next to the Carl Zeiss 35mm f1.4. And you can see the difference is huge. With its weight, it weighs approximately 630 grams. And again, it's a bit heavier when compared to other manufacturers equivalent lenses. It looks even bigger when you attach the lens hood. Whether this is a good thing or a bad thing depends on the individual. But for myself, I personally don't mind if it means I'm going to get better quality images. But other than that, the lens feels very solid and durable. The focus ring is very smooth to turn and like Sony's other lenses, it uses a fly-by-wire system. The built-in aperture ring does make changing your aperture quick and easy since it's on the lens. But if you prefer to change it in camera, you can switch it to A and you'll be able to operate it as normal. But that's not the only thing that's special about this lens. Videographers as well as photographers may find this feature helpful as there is a switch to make hard stop clicks or have a seamless switch between your aperture settings. The lens is designed to be dust and moisture resistant so it's great to use in a variety of conditions. Autofocus speed is quick and accurate thanks to Sony's newly developed direct drive supersonic motor. And speaking of autofocus, the minimum focusing distance is 30 centimeters, which means I can get up real close for some macro shooting. The photos that this lens produces is gorgeous and this is all straight out of the camera with no post processing. It's extremely sharp in the centers and picks up very fine details. Even when you stop it down the corners are near perfect. Of course there is also the ability to go down to f1.4 so this lens is great for low light situations. And of course out of focus blur is as you would expect very much smooth and doesn't distract from the subject in focus. I haven't encountered any color fringing but there is a fair bit of vignetting which I would say adds a bit of characteristic to the lens. But if you prefer not to have it you could always correct it in post or in camera. The Carl Zeiss 35mm f1.4 is an extraordinary lens that delivers some amazing images. Now I once said that the Carl Zeiss 55mm f1.8 was the sharpest lens in Sony's lens range but I have to admit this lens definitely takes the crown. It delivers the best quality optics that Sony and Carl Zeiss have to offer. However, there are a few caveats. First and foremost, it's the size and the weight. Now a few people will argue that this lens is too big and too heavy to carry around. And while that may be true to some extent, Sony and Carl Zeiss employed the best quality optics and not to mention a few other features which of course would add to the weight. Now second is the price. This will be out of reach for a few people and for people like myself in Australia this is going to leave a deep hole in your financial pocket. If size, price and weight isn't an issue I'd say go out straight away and grab one because you won't be disappointed. However if you do have a few issues with it, there are a couple of alternatives that you can get. First is the Carl Zeiss 35mm f2.8 lens, which is a small lightweight compact lens to take around with you. Or you can also get the Zeiss Loxia f2, which has the built-in aperture ring, but you don't have any autofocus. 
Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you already own one, let me know what you think of it. And if you found this video helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram for photo updates and more sample photos. Until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching.